Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making salanka, which is a Russian stewed cabbage. Russian stewed cabbage or Russian braised cabbage is also called salanka in Russian. Please note that this aromatic and hearty stew dish made with sour or fresh cabbage or both with some smoked meats is not the same as the salanka, the soup. And here's the list of the ingredients for your screenshots and also will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. You will need 3 to 4 tablespoons of cooking oil and I use avocado oil, 1 head of green cabbage, you also gonna need 1 large onion, 2 large carrots, I'm gonna use this Russian sausage called Sardelli, which is similar to Frankfurter's, or you can use a Polish kielbasa. Four to five cloves of garlic, depends on your garlicky taste. One tablespoon of tomato paste. And I'm gonna use some spices and it's up to you. I'm gonna use some salt, black pepper, paprika, chili pepper, ground coriander, and two bay leaves. And your spice preference can vary depending on your taste. So add what you like. I'm also gonna use one bunch of fresh dill. Start by chopping your onion first and I am gonna slice it half of the half moon if that's the correct slicing term um, I think it's just gonna look better in the dish then you're gonna need a deep dish like a chicken fryer or something we're gonna add four to five tablespoons of cooking oil and I'm using avocado oil we're gonna throw in our onion and the key here is to caramelize your onion that should take a couple minutes or so. In the meantime, we're gonna chop our garlic. And I like this rocking tool that I use pretty much in every single video of mine. And I will list the link where I got mine. It just leaves no waste and it chops it kind of roughly. And I think I like how it does its job. Add chopped garlic to your caramelized onions and just cook it for one minute and make sure it doesn't burn. In the meantime, we're gonna shred some carrots. Um, and I'm using two large carrots and this type of julienne shredder. You could just use a large um, grater on your cheese grater or you simply can cut carrots in the julienne style. I mean, that should take some time, but here it is. Add carrots to your onions and garlic and just saute it for about a couple minutes or so until it softens up a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna cut our cabbage and this is a green cabbage. Somehow um, here in US, you can only get green cabbage. In Russia, we use white cabbage and it's a little bit different. It, the shape is different. It's kind of like a donut shape and it's a very, very, um, tightly packed sometimes it takes so much effort to actually slice it in half because it is so hard uh, but green cabbage is fine so we're just gonna shred our cabbage and we're gonna add it to our onions and garlic and carrots and it looks like a big mountain of cabbage but you know the cabbage is gonna wilt down so just move it around so make sure it reaches to the bottom of your uh, skillet or chicken fryer that will help um, it a little bit to wilt down and don't add any liquid yet because we need this cabbage to cook in its natural juices you can make this dish completely vegetarian and don't add any meat but traditionally in Russia we add some kind of so smoked sausage to it which is like this one it's called sardelli which is in a natural casing and it's gonna taste similar to your frankfurters you can add any type of smoked sausage like andouille sausage or polish kielbasa 
and so the sausage looks a little bit more appetizing not kind of white or like has no color we're gonna fry it up on both sides so just add a little bit of cooking oil throw these guys on the skillet and just brown them up on both sides and this way they're gonna look so much better in your dish and of course taste uh, much better too so just fry these guys up on both sides and reserve them for later so just throw them in the bowl and set them aside until they're ready to go into our dish and look we have a stewed cabbage right now that took about 10 minutes until our cabbage got completely soft okay and it's time to season our dish i have some salt pepper i have some chili powder some coriander and two bay leaves and it's all seasoned to your taste then we're gonna add one tablespoon of tomato paste and tomato paste is kind of difficult to distribute in your dish so to help um, this tomato paste uh, to distribute better in the dish we're going to add a little bit of water so just add maybe two tablespoons of water and see if it's still kind of lumpy and it's not dissolved there just add a little bit more water but don't add a lot because after that we're going to add our uh, sausage we're going to mix it all together and at this point it gets um, covered by a uh, lid and it's gonna get stewed for maybe five to ten minutes we just need to chop some fresh herbs to garnish our dish and my preference uh, for this particular dish is always dill dill has such a fresh taste and it goes well with cabbage so let's check on our dish look at this it looks beautiful it looks so delicious i just want to eat it right now but wait <laughs> we need to garnish it first so we're just gonna sprinkle some chopped uh, dill into this uh, dish and we're ready to dig in so just grab yourself a plate and we're gonna start loading this salanka onto the plate and it depends on how hungry you are one spoon two spoons three spoons or 25 spoons but um i'm making this portion for my son and i know he likes to eat and he specifically likes this dish so much so and a side of uh, russian black bread is a must at least in the russian household and we're ready to taste and look at this it is so delicious i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye